When, when people start listening to shaitan, this is the same surah Allah Azza wa Jalla says, Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan. My slaves, you're not going to have any authority over them. In other words, people who really submit to Allah, He will not have authority over them. But others, shaitanu ya'idukum al faqr wa ya'murukum bil fahsha, surah al Baqarah. He will command you to do shamelessness. In other words, when you listen to Him a little bit, you've granted Him a little bit of power. When you listen to Him a little more, you've granted Him a little more power. And if you keep on listening to Him, He gets to the point where He can command you. You will find yourself, I can't even help myself, Brother Norman. I can't even help myself. I don't even know. I don't know how to turn the computer off. I don't know what makes me do that every night. I don't know what makes me do this or that. I don't know what makes me go there. Go into that chat session, you know. Go and log into that, you know, horrific website. Go watch that filth. Why does he make, why, why do I end up doing that? Why can't I lower my eyes when I'm in an elevator, when I'm walking down the street? I can't even help myself. I don't know what to do. That's the when that's when you know shaitan's got a pretty good hold on you. He's got a pretty solid hold on you, and you've got you've been sucked into a, a really you know, how do you say a, a vicious cycle. It's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, and you're not addressing it, and it's making the problem worse. And it's it's destroying your spirituality altogether. Your relationship with Allah depends on a heart being clean. Every time you're exposed to filth, more dirt, more blackness, more you know, like covers are poured on top of your heart. And it keeps on pouring and it keeps on pouring and it keeps on pouring to the point where you're listening to the word of Allah and you can't get yourself to even shed a single tear. It won't come because your heart has been made so hard because of all the exposure to filth, all the sin that your eyes are taking in all the time. And you don't even care anymore. You know, a good heart, when it sees something inappropriate that, that, that doesn't coincide with the commandments of Allah, it is disturbed. It's not attracted, it's disturbed. It says, no, that's wrong. Immediately the conscience kicks in, the alarm goes off. But when you have, when you're at the point, when you're by yourself and you feel no guilt doing it, you just don't feel anything. You don't feel that it's wrong. The only thing you, before you stare at a sister, you look around like, is anybody else watching? And then you take a good look. That means the fear of Allah is completely gone. The only fear you have is that of the seen. There's no more fear of the unseen. What a horrible spiritual state to be in. Allah says, يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُونَ وَمَا تُخْفِ الصُّدُورِ He knows the stealing of the eyes, that little glance you caught. He knows that one, that little glance you took. What to speak of the stare. And He knows what the chests are hiding. 